It is a greenhouse with hydroponics, aquaponics, and aeroponics technologies. Furthermore, crop growth factors like temperature, CO2, are regulated to optimize production. The CEA system comprises an array of sensors feeding data to a control system. Next, the controller regulates the nutrient flow, cooling, and other crop growth factors. The VEST embedded system solution like the VEST E2i single board computer is highly suitable for implementing a CEA control system. This NXP-based ARM CPU platform supports touchscreen and wireless connectivity. The VEST embedded system receives sensors measurements by Ethernet or Wi-Fi to determine what growth factors to adjust. Furthermore, engineers can design user-friendly interactive dashboards for the CEA. The VEST embedded system is cloud-ready. That means that the system can transmit data from multiple farms to the cloud with the VEST Connect 360 service. Cloud Computing IoT offers many possibilities. Hello everyone. This is IoT based greenhouse monitoring and controlling system. The main, main aim of this project is to reduce global warming. The components we are using are Arduino Uno, LCD, GSM, DC motor pump, relays, uh, CPU fan, LED, LDR and uh, DST11 and soil moisture sensor. Arduino Uno. Arduino, Arduino Uno is a controller. It has 14 digital input output pin, 6 analog input pins. It needs 5 voltage operating voltage and 16 megahertz frequency. It controls all the operation. LCD. LCD is a liquid crystal display. LCD is used to display output on a screen. It is a 16 by 2 LCD. Operate on 4 bit modes. Uh, with the RS enable VCC ground pin. GSM. GSM is global for mobile communication system. GSM is used for communication between mobile and GSM. Using this, we can send receive messages and also make and receive calls. There are three pins: transmitter, receiver, and operating voltage. Ground. And operating voltage is 12 volts. Soil moisture sensor. Soil moisture sensor measure the voluntary water content in soil. DHT11 is a humidity sensor. It is used for humidity and temperature also. LDR. LDR, it depends on the light. When light falls on the LDR, then the resistance decrease and the and increase when it is dark. Working. When soil is dry, the soil moisture sensor will detect that and it will on the motor. If temperature is high, then fan will be on and if it is dark, this LED will be glow. Working. When the soil is dry, soil moisture sensor will detect and will on the motor. And if the temperature is high, the fan will on. And if this LDR is getting uh, is dark, then this LED will be on. And also it will upload it on ThingsPick. Now soil moisture sensor will detect. So it is on, uh, the motor is on. And when the temperature is high, this fan will be on. When this uh, LDR is in dark, then this LED will be on. When it is getting light, this advantages. It is uh, for reducing global warming for and uh, applications are for farming. Thank you.